so dear students today we are going to prove uh, a result from the topic of hyperbola and the result states that prove that the product of the perpendicular from two foci on any tangent to hyperbola is given by plus minus b square so what basically it says to prove is that there is a hyperbola like this okay and there are foci two foci of this and there is a tangent okay so if the tangent is something like this if the tangent is something like this then it asks us to calculate the product of these two perpendiculars p1 multiplied by p2 okay it's ask us this only so the coordinate of this foci will be minus a comma 0 and this foci will be a comma 0 so taking the line as let the line be y is equal to mx plus c and for the condition of tangency for this line to be perpendicular to the hyperbola is given as c square is equal to a square m square minus b square ok. So yeah it is given as like this so what to do? First of all, let me find the length of perpendiculars P1 and P2. So what will be the length of perpendicular P1? P1 will be given as uh, mod of minus A E times of uh, minus M and then minus C upon root 1 plus M square. Okay. So from here I can take a take out a m e and plus c and a minus sign common by root 1 plus m square. So this can be written as plus minus a m e plus c upon root 1 plus m square. Now if I set to move set to find the length of perpendicular p2 so p2 can be written as y minus mx okay so 0 minus mx that means minus m times of a minus c upon root 1 plus m square okay yeah so uh, minus a m e there is some mistake here actually it was plus a m e and minus c so if i take minus sign outside then it will be uh, here i wrote by mistake like this it will be if i take minus sign outside then it will be c minus a m e okay c minus a m e and from here it will come like this that c minus a m e ok now if i apply here the remove the modulus here then it will become uh, c plus a m e and plus minus upon root 1 plus m square now if i multiply p1 into p2 if i multiply p1 into p2 then i will get plus minus c a square minus a square m square e square upon 1 plus m square now you know that c a square is nothing but what i wrote uh, on the top c a square is nothing but plus minus a square m square minus b a square right and what is this e a square e a square is 1 plus 1 plus b square upon a square ok so I can write it like this e is equal to uh, not e I can write it from here a square e square is equal to a square plus b square so I can substitute in place of a square e square a square plus b square so minus of a square plus b square times of m square 
and 1 plus m square. Now, if I simplify it, then this will give me a square m, m square, a square m square will get cancelled and minus b a square minus b a square. Okay, so minus b a square will be taken out and inside it will be 1 plus m square divided by 1 plus m square. So, this two terms will get cancelled and here it will be plus minus b a square in the outside. Okay. So, this was the result that the product of two tangents, uh, uh, the, the product of perpendicular lengths upon the tangent is given by plus minus b a square. Now, coming to another question. Now coming to another question uh, that was based on the same property. So let me read the question. I have here the question written and then I will be just showing you the diagram. The question is here before me. Why I am taking it because the question is too long and it will be difficult to it will be difficult to read from here ok let me just uh, perhaps the file is missing somewhere so let me read the question here consider the hyperbola x square upon 100 minus y square upon 64 with foci s and s1 ok so i have drawn the diagram beforehand there is a hyperbola and which is having its foci as s and s1 and it is given that the um, s lies on the positive side of x axis again it is given that this line sp1 is a tangent is a line parallel to the tangent so this green one is a tangent ok so it is given here and that uh, let p be a point on hyperbola in the first quadrant so p is a point on the hyperbola in the first quadrant this is p now it is saying that uh, let sp s1 be angle alpha ok so sp s1 is the angle alpha and why i have bisected it because there is a uh, result uh, the result says that the result says that the tangent drawn at any point on a hyperbola bisects the angle between line joining the point to the foci ok so if if this is a tangent and there are two foci then this tangent bisects the angle between them therefore i have written this as alpha by 2 and alpha by 2 now what it says that the straight line passing through point S and having same slope as that of the tangent at P to the hyperbola intersect straight line S1P at P1. That means S1P produced meets this line at P1. And what is this line SP1? This is parallel to this tangent. So, and it is now the length is given. The delta is the distance of P from the straight line. Delta is the distance of P from the straight line. And beta is this distance S1P. Then it is asking us to find beta delta by 9 and sin alpha by 2. So this diagram is seems to be a bit complicated but we will solve it using that property that we just uh, proved. And beforehand let me tell you something about the statistics of this question. This question was solved only by 0.4% of the students appearing in the JE advanced and it was unsolved by 91.34%. So it is not very easy that is why the diagram is a bit complicated. Now what the question asks us to find the greatest integer less than or equal to this quantity beta delta by 9 sin alpha by 2. Now see how we will go step by step. We know that the perpendiculars drawn from the foci to the tangent the product of the perpendicular drawn from the foci to the tangent is equal to plus minus b a square ok. So we are having the equation of hyperbola we can find if s dash q multiplied by this delta is being asked then we can write it that plus minus b a square why delta because delta is equal to this length r, r s it is given that this line is parallel to this ok. So the distance of this tangent from foci is delta and that is similar to this line because these two lines are parallel geometrically we can say. So what, what we can write that s dash q into delta what we can write here is s dash q s dash q into delta is equal to plus minus b a square ok. Now what is b a square 64 ok. So, b square is nothing but 64, b square is given to be 64. 
here i will not carry this plus minus everywhere because i am interested merely in the values uh, so i will be putting it wherever it would be required now s dash q into delta is known to us s dash q into delta is known to us now how here one more term is hidden that is beta sin alpha by 2 okay so from this triangle in the triangle sqp see s dash qp this angle is delta by 2 okay and this is the length beta so what i can write i can write beta and s dash q is sin so sin of sin of delta by 2 sin of sorry i am writing delta alpha by 2 sin of alpha by 2 is equal to is equal to s dash q s dash q upon beta therefore s dash q the value of s dash q is known to us and that is equal to beta sin alpha by 2 now you are seeing the pattern being deciphered in this question so beta sin alpha by 2 came and delta also came this length is delta okay this length is s dash q into delta now you know s dash q so put it here so if you will substitute there then it will be beta sin alpha by 2 into delta and that is equal to 64 okay 64 now see that was asked in the question it was asked beta delta sin alpha by 2 upon upon 9 okay upon 9 it was asked so so the product should be plus minus 64 here both of these lengths if both of these lengths if multiplied will give us a positive quantity how we can say this because these two are perpendicular lengths and we can write it as plus not plus minus beta square here we can write it simply as 64 why why not minus 64 so let us first read the question again the question states that alpha is less than pi by 2 and uh, same slope as that tangent okay 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 now come and see this thing the left hand side beta delta sin alpha by 2 sin alpha by 2 is positive delta is given to be positive and beta is also positive therefore the product of all these terms will be a positive quantity and hence we will be taking it as value as 64 now it is asking us in this question the value of beta sin alpha by 2 into delta by 9 so this will be equal to 64 by 9 now it is asking us the greatest integer less than or equal to so this will be equal to 7 okay the question was asking us the greatest integer less than or equal to see here the greatest integer less than or equal to beta delta by 9 sin alpha by 2 so the answer is 7 okay now you see uh, now um, that the whole question was based on a very um, important property of the hyperbola that is not well um, and that is uh, students are not remembering it uh, because it is not so famous but the whole question was based on that only the length of perpendiculars from the tangent and the per product of that is always equal to plus minus b square so this question was based on that property and uh, one property again was used this property is very common everyone knows it so this was our tough question from je advanced 22 i hope that you might have enjoyed this video thank you